In the early 11th century, Sweden was a land of ancient pagan beliefs and traditions. The people worshipped a pantheon of gods and goddesses, offering sacrifices and performing rituals to appease them. One man, born into this world of gods and spirits, would change the course of Swedish history forever. Olaf Skakanung ascended to the throne of Sweden, becoming one of its most significant rulers. Many significant events would mark his reign, but perhaps the most notable was his conversion to Christianity, which profoundly impacted the kingdom and its people. Olaf Skakanung was born into a royal family in the mid-960s when Sweden was still a pagan kingdom. As the son of Eric the Victorious, he was raised in the pagan traditions of his forefathers, and it was expected that he would continue in his father's footsteps and rule as a pagan king. His father was a legendary explorer and founder of the first Norse settlement in Greenland. Olaf grew up in a family of powerful chieftains and inherited his father's adventurous spirit. However, Olaf began to question his pagan beliefs, and he soon realized that Christianity offered a new path for himself and his people. But his decision was met with resistance, and many of his advisors and followers were against the idea of abandoning their pagan traditions. Despite the opposition, Olaf remained steadfast in his decision. In the year 995, he was crowned the King of Sweden, and in front of his subjects, he made the historic announcement that he would soon be baptized as a Christian. However, this transition was not without resistance. Many of the country's pagan leaders feared the new religion would threaten their way of life and traditions. Olaf was baptized soon after, marking the beginning of Sweden's conversion to Christianity. His actions were met with mixed reactions, but ultimately, his decision would profoundly impact the country. Olaf ascended to the throne in 995 following his father's death. In the early years of his reign, he faced opposition from the country's pagan leaders, who saw him as a threat to their way of life. The conversion to Christianity brought about a clash between the old pagan beliefs and the new Christian faith. It took time for the people to adjust, and was a difficult transition for many. Despite the challenges, the conversion to Christianity brought about positive changes in Swedish society. Churches were built, and education became more widespread, bringing new opportunities for the people. Olaf's family played a significant role in his reign. His wife, Estrid, was a Danish princess, and together they had four sons, who would all become kings of Sweden. He was determined to pass down his legacy and beliefs to them. His eldest son, Anon Jacob, succeeded him as king, and he continued his father's work in spreading Christianity throughout the land. The debate between Christianity and paganism was more than a religious issue. It was a struggle for power and influence, with each side trying to gain the upper hand. Christianity became the dominant religion, and a new set of values, beliefs, and practices came with it. The old pagan ways slowly faded away as the new religion took hold. The ancient Norse religion was based on a pantheon of gods and goddesses and the belief in fate and the afterlife. The Vikings believed their gods controlled different aspects of life, such as war, fertility, and the weather. They also have complex rituals and customs surrounding death, including the belief in Valhalla, the warrior's afterlife. The Christianization of Sweden led to a shift in power as the church gained more influence over the ruling class. The church's role in society became more prominent as it took on the responsibility of educating the people and promoting moral values. Olaf was baptized at Husaby Church in front of a large crowd. This event marked the beginning of Sweden's conversion to Christianity and had far-reaching consequences. Christianity brought many changes to Sweden, including a new system of governance, education, and social structure. It also brought the country closer to other Christian kingdoms, leading to greater trade and cultural exchange. Olaf's decision to convert to Christianity had a lasting impact on Sweden. He is remembered as a significant figure in the country's history and is often cited as an example of a wise and just ruler. Olaf died in 1022, having ruled Sweden for over two decades. His sons would go on to rule the country, continuing his legacy and further solidifying Christianity's place in Swedish society. After Olaf's death, his sons Erik and Anand fought for the throne. Erik emerged victorious and continued his father's legacy of strengthening Sweden's ties with the Christian world. He is also known for contributing to the country's military and economic growth. Anand, on the other hand, 
became a pagan and rejected Christianity, leading to a division within the ruling class. As Christianity continued to spread throughout Sweden, the pagan traditions of the past began to fade away. The Viking Age was ending, and the people of Sweden were transitioning into a new era. Olaf's decision to convert to Christianity marked the beginning of a major change in Swedish history. His conversion to Christianity profoundly impacted Sweden's history, culture, and identity. It helped to unite the country under a single faith and paved the way for Sweden's integration into the wider European community. Olaf's reign marked a period of political stability and prosperity, and his contributions to the growth and development of the country continue to be celebrated to this day. Today, Sweden is known for its progressive social policies and high standard of living. But it all began with Olaf Skotkonung and his decision to convert to Christianity. While most Swedes today identify as Christians, the country celebrates its pagan past through traditions such as Midsummer and Yule. Sweden is known for its social welfare system, gender equality, and environmentalism and continues to be a leader in innovation and technology. The legacy of Olaf Skotkonung and his impact on Swedish history and identity is still felt today. And there you have it, the story of Olaf Skotkonung, the Viking king who became a Christian. Through his journey, we've learned about the struggles and triumphs of one of the most influential figures in Swedish history. Join us next time on Archives Unlocked as we explore more fascinating stories from the past.